Welcome to the stream, everybody. We're doing a Druid Arena run today. I've already picked the Druid. I have not started picking cards yet. Let me make sure the stream is up and running. And everything looks good. Alright. <clears throat> I don't know how to play the Druid very well. Um, and I'm probably going to have str a strong preference for GVG cards. Um, so we'll see... We'll see how it goes. Um, I think Keeper of the Grove is generally a strong card. But Bomb Lover seems pretty nice too. I don't think I need a Sunwalker 6 drop on this really. You know, we're gonna go with the Keeper of the Grove. It's a little bit more flexible with the 2 damage or silence kind of thing. Um, I'm a bigger fan of Ancient of War than Force of Nature. I'm hesitating though because I think Force of Nature is a really good card too. Um, we'll go with Ancient of War. Uh, if you're here, I think Wrath is the best. Recycle, I actually haven't seen that card yet. Um, Arena, though, I don't know if it's that good. It might be a little bit overcosted for Arena. Um, so I'm going to pick the Demolisher here. Because target, target Dummy doesn't really do anything. Um, hmm, here. Hopefully I'll get Darwolf Alpha and then a couple of uh, one or two drops to pair with it. Ooh, ooh, ooh Druid of the Fang. This is one that I've wanted to play with before. Do I have any beasts? I do have a beast. I could prioritize beasts maybe and pick this one. Or it could be picking the more reliable explosive sheep. Let's play with the Druid of the Fang. Shattered Sun Cleric is the way to go there, more reliable. Uh, definitely Argent Squire. Power of the Wild seems good. Alright, new cards again. Mech Bearcat. Grove Tender. 3 mana, 2, 4. Or matter bomber. I think we got we gotta go with the matter bomber. Um we don't really have many mechs. We have one. One mech. Uh so Cockmaster seems pretty poor. I wish Inventor draws a card. But Cultmaster is likely to draw a card for us too. Master might be a little better. Um, loot hoarder here. Yeah. Um, Dark Iron Dwarf is a solid four drop, according to the Master Trump. I've been watching his eye draft series lately. Uh, Micro Machine seems to do pretty well whenever I see it. I don't think I have enough minions and tokens to, to make effective use of Soul of the Forest, so I'm going to pick Archmage. Archmage? Um, Ironbark Protector is a solid giant dude. The others are a little bit mediocre. Hmm, okay. Mechanical Yeti is a pretty solid 4 drop. Mark of Nature can be pretty situational. Thalmor Fireseer usually doesn't get to use as Wind Fury very much. Um, Claw? Now Claw could be really good, but so could Acid Swampoos. Um, let's go with Acid Swampoos. Mm, I'm thinking Mech Warper. How are we doing on early drops? One. Two, 
three-ish, four-ish, five-ish, six-ish. All right, we don't need any more like one onesie, twosie drops. Um, I would take one or two more threes, and then we're looking for uh, upper upper end things. So Sunwalker would be good here. Um, Frost Wolf Warlord. Battle cry effects that are worth um, bouncing back to the hand. I've got a few. <coughs> we don't get any secrets. Um, I think it's unlikely in Arena that the opponent would have six or more cards in their hand. So we're gonna go with the... Abomination? Or do we just want a three drop to have a three drop? We'll go with the Goblin Sapphire just to have a three drop, I think. Um, another Druid of the Fang. I really could use some more beasts. I might just hang on to Direwolf Alpha. just to use him as the beast activator for these druids of the fang. Because I've got so many other two drops. Um, piloted Shredder is a good one. Starfire, I think, would be worthwhile. Uh, I really don't need any more two drops, so I'm going to pick Naturalize here. Nightblade, I guess. I'm trying to not have any more two drops. Alright, swipe is really good. Imp Master. Well, we're a little heavy on twos. But, and we only have one beast to activate the uh, Druids of the Fang. So we'll see how it goes. The goal is to get two wins to clear the daily quest. So if I go 2 and 3, I'm going to be happy. I went 0 and 3 with a warrior earlier. <laughs> so, the classes that I'm not good with, I'm really not good with. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, we've got Matter Bomber in the deck, so how could we lose? He's a 5 mana 5 4 with a deal 6 damage battle cry. Um, Power of the Wild's worth keeping. This is okay. Actually, this is probably really good. We might get to destroy... Oh, you know what? Actually, the panther is a beast. And I have Druid of the Fang in hand, so I should probably save it, rather than attempting to destroy... rather than saving the ooze for a true silver champion, right? Drink with me, friend! Okay, yeah. We definitely have to save the panther. Both of our druids of the fang are in hand. <laughs> Put this apple on your head. Right. Imp master. He's got knife targets. Or at least a good knife target. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I wonder if I'm gonna have to wait till turn seven to put down that panther because he's got the early game here under control. Matter bomber. All right. I think I should kill the knife juggler. If I make a 3-2, he's going to trade with his Harvest Goblin. For the wild. <laughs> the ah! I'll just hope to get... Yeah. 
I'll just wait till turn seven to make the Panther. And then when I when he when the Druid of the Fang transforms into a seven seven, that seven seven might be a beast, so I might be able to continue the the threat. Not a great spread. <clears throat> I was hoping to at least kill the harvest golem. Why would he hit with the harvest golem? <laughs> Okay, um... Stealth can't be attacked or targeted until it deals damage. So not even by one of these things. It's not like the fairy dragon thing, where this would be able to affect it. Um, well, I think I will silence the golem and kill it. Next turn, I can power the wild druid of the fang. kill at least one of these dudes with my, what's he called? Keeper of the Grove. I wonder. <coughs> my shield for Argus! Uh oh. That's no bueno. Reporting for duty. I still need to do it. Beast. Snakes. It has to Beast. Alright. He has some easy... Actually, could he go just kill us now? Eleven? No. He's got eleven damage. Um... Okay, what's, what's an optimal trade for him? Three, four, five, six... I wonder. Okay, he could keep two of his dudes alive. If he runs the Panther and the Defender of Argus into my Druid of the Fang in snake form, uh, those three minions die on the left. And then if he runs his 3 4 taunt into my 3 2, he's left I with the 3 wonder. 1 taunt and his 1 1. And I've got nothing. Of the fame. Oh no! <laughs> Special delivery. I must move quickly. Well, we're in real bad shape. Reporting for duty. And we no longer have a beast in the deck. No, no, no. We still have the direwolf alpha. Oh. Man, swipe is really good here too. Guess I will play Brewmaster. And I'm gonna hit face rather than the three two, because I'm low on health. Eighteen cards left for him, nineteen for me. I don't think this is going into fatigue, though. It's pretty unlikely. <laughs> He's trying to finish this off real quick. Oh. He's just playing smart. Well. 
Starfire. Seems pretty good. And I guess... We'll do Micro Machine. Or should we kill off the Silver Hand Recruit? Let's kill off the Silver Hand Uh, that was probably really bad. I should have played Micro Machine. Or Shattered Sun. Oh gosh. Avenging Wrath. Go play. Well. We'll get the next one. Playing minions that cost two or less, so we're making progress on one of our daily quests. And, um. You know, even if we go 0 and 2, we could win two in a row before losing that third one and get the daily quest. Malfurion versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! I must protect the wild. I think I overrated Druid of the Fang in my pick phase. Because I did not have, um... Did not have any beasts. Except for one. And then I wasn't even thinking about the power of the wild as a beast. Gosh, we have so many two drops. And all we have is wrath. And a couple of six drops. Oh boy. All the wild. He didn't have a coin two. Is he gonna coin a three drop? Is he gonna play a normal two? And then use the coin later. Annoyotron was his two drop. Oh my gosh. Okay. The light protects me. For the wild. Start whittling it away. Get rid of the divine shield at least. Next turn we could shattered sun our Argent Squire and kill the Annoyotron. Boxer. Whenever a character is healed, deal one damage. I fight. He's likely to kill off our beast with the Shadow Boxer, unfortunately. So we will get the Super Beast Druid of the Thing next turn. Yeti now. But is it worth it? I think we should play Archmage. Are you ready for this? I fight. <laughs> I 
don't see a great use for the 1-1 one, one minions right now, so I'm just kind of hitting the face with them. That's troublesome. Summoning portal. Matter bomber. Six. What's the spare part? Show me the spare part. Stealth. I fight. Should I use it? I feel like I don't even need to use it. What good would stealth do me right now? I'd be happy if he. Hit the Azure Drake into the Archmage, Archmage. I keep bouncing back and forth between Archmage and Archmage. That was a mistake. Is he gonna run both of them into the Archmage? I'll say sorry. Sorry. Yes, both going down. Oh, how was that a mistake? I will enjoy watching you die. <laughs> oh my goodness! All of his minions are so cheap with that summoning portal. We're gonna play Matter Bomber. Well, at least everything Matter Bomber hit was an enemy thing. We must cleanse the Sunwell. What's it gonna get swapped out with? Oh yes, an Iron Beak Owl. <laughs> That's not what he wanted. Oh no, floating watcher. Yes. Oh no. My eyes are open. Earth and ring. Oh no. The card said alarm robot was O2, but it looks like an O3. Um Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the Yeti. I'm going to play the Demolisher. And I'm going to cloak the Demolisher. So it at least gets one hit off. Hmm. I think we are pretty much screwed, though. Rusty horn. That's not gonna help us. Oh wow. Well, what can we do? Anything? Not really anything. Play. I can see. That's okay. We happen to have a really bad draw. We uh, we've learned that we don't ever want our druids of the fang, and we really need to get some two drops and some early game tempo because with the one swipe, we're not really ever going to come back in, in tempo unless we just get ultra lucky with the matter bomber. Alright, so it's looking like this might be another 0-3 arena, arena run. You asked but hey, for it. I must protect the wild. we still get packs after 0-3 arena runs.
Oh gosh. Job done. Let's get one of each kind of vegetable. There we go. Ooh, micro machine. Good. Let him start building up. Better to put out the swamp ooze. We'll hit the micro machine. Next turn. What to do? I can kill it with Keeper of the Grove or something. I think it's better to develop the swamp ooze. Protector, Crusader. The Scarlet Bumper Nickel. Alright, next turn, turn five, we can. Uh oh. Unstable portal. What did he get? A lost tall strider. Okay. We can get a 5 5, which. Beaten by the lost tall strider, or we can create a 4 4. We can create a 1 4. Get it down to 3 health. Hmm. We don't have any great options. I might even cult master and hit to draw a card. No. The frost stand to we'll get the 5 5. Sunwalker would have been really good. Pretty good. Would have made him probably use his hero power. We must cleanse the Sunwell. A 6-5. Mirror image. How's he gonna hit it though? Sort of wasted that. Um I don't want to play Matter Bomber rather than Sunwalker because turn seven I might want to play Matter Bomber. Hmm. Oh, that's okay. I'll play Sunwalker. He's likely to pop the Divine Shield this turn, anyways, so that's not a problem. Polymorph is a slight problem. Alright. Matter Bomber... No, no, no. First we hit here. So we have more chances. We're more likely to kill Shattered Sun with bombs. We just need a 1, and then we can hear about our 2 is even better. Sensing a cult master on the next turn. I think a cult master. Then doing some trades would be good. Okay, so he just drew a bunch of cards. He didn't have or didn't want to use Flame Strike. Uh, nothing worth naturalizing.
something worth... Hmm, interesting. Not sure what the right thing to do is. We must cleanse the sun. Three, three. Power like this, and I'm not gonna play the demolisher because I want to. I'm, you know, I'm very wary of flame strike now that he's drawn four cards. I feel like he would use it if he had it. In any case, I think we're gonna do some trades. So we'll draw some cards with those trades. Um, do I wanna keep a. Two health guys. Forward. All right. I definitely want to kill off this guy. And I'll play the Argent Squire. Because Argent Squire doesn't get killed by Flame Strike unless he uses the Zero Power. Not that that one attack damage is gonna do wonders for me or anything. Hmm, secret. Interesting. Eight. So what I would like to do... I fight. I'd like to pop the secret and clear the board. Can I do that? Am I okay with giving him a couple more Amani Berserkers? Yeah. Okay. I fight. <laughs> I'm still not sure what the secret is, but we're gonna play the Yeti for sure. And I think we should play... Oh no! I didn't think about Mirror Entity. I didn't think about mirror entity at all. Behold the might of soul I just didn't wind. even consider it. Because I have the big guy, I'm gonna now draw this card. And I'm now going to hero power. For the wild. Hit like that. And I can like hardly click on that button because it bugged out and got blown up by the wor by the rope explosion. <laughs> Alright, with these two cards though, I think we stand a chance at winning this game. I, just, I think we stand a, a small chance of winning this game. I want to be careful about feeding him cards with naturalize. I mean, War Golem's a big target, it might be worth it, but I don't want to feed him cards. That's the thing. Goblin Sapper is not going to be very useful anymore. Um. 
freeze a minion. I like that. Do I want to freeze it? I'm just gonna naturalize it. Time waits for no one. <laughs> I gave him a bunch of cards, but. He's unlikely to have another minion that big left in his deck, and it looks like we might go into fatigue here. Alright. Um, Ancient of War is going to be really good. But do I need to use it yet? I kind of want to use Starwolf Alpha and Hero Power, then I'd have 6 mana left, so I could play Archmage. Are you ready for this? For the wild! Cards like we're both doing fine. I know I have a swipe left because I haven't used a swipe yet. Freeze. Hmm, power of the wild. I have not yet drawn into my druids of the fang either. So I don't want to just use it for the plus one one. Not when I know I've got Druids of the Fang coming up. I think this time I will play Ancient of War. And we'll just for kicks throw out the sapper. He's used two polymorphs, I, will, I believe. So he shouldn't have another one. I wonder. Unless he just traps it. Ah, uh, reversing switch. That's pretty good. We're gonna be able to make him fatigue though with that naturalize. I think he still has one more spare part. <laughs> he should have drawn the card first. Could have silenced my 510. Alright, so we have a 7 mana combo. How do we want to do this? That snakes seven minutes. For the wild, this guy. And I guess you know. Um, what the heck? We'll freeze that minion. So even a flame strike leaves my druid of the fang life. I'll put it on your head. He's gonna get fatigued. Alright, I know his one card is an Azure Drake. Oh yes, and the other Druid of the Fang is here. Alright, we're definitely going to trade that way. We're definitely going to play Druid of the Fang while we have peace. Three goes into the three, two. Hit. And, um... Yeah, might as well They'll play Nightblade. I think we've won. We've won. We won our first game. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. So the deck has a few redeeming qualities. Notably the big minions in the late game. Lots of big minions in the late game. If we can avoid getting overrun before the, the late game. If we can stay even on the board. So we do have a lot of two drops. I think we can do it. We just need one more win. One more win. That's all we need. Malfurion versus Garrosh. Victory on death. I must protect the wild. He is effectively the final boss for us. Um. Considering maybe keeping the Ump Master. You can always coin out a three drop, but. I really think we need more two drops. Just more two drops. Oh my gosh. I thought we had a lot of two drops. But I was apparently mistaken. Let's get the zebra skin for good luck. Come on, zebra skin. There we go, light the fire. Alright. We've got the zebra skin on our side. We've got the campfire lit. There's nothing this warrior can do to us. Hopefully he just uses his hero power and never plays a minion <laughs> or a single card. Then we'll be able to win. Okay, I'm gonna coin Demolisher here. It's best on an empty board. I don't know if we'll ever get if we'll ever see an empty board again. And uh you know, from his point of view, and um, I kind of want to save the ooze because we know this warrior is going to have at least one weapon in his deck. It's a proven fact what? No. that all warrior decks in arena have at least one weapon. And we want to be able to, to destroy it with our ooze, so we're not going to use it as a two-drop. This is a very fun RNG battle between the Demolisher and the Ogre Brute. <laughs> That's a very interesting battle. Um, I'm just gonna hit the face. Next turn I can Keeper of the Grove to kill off the Ogre Brute if, um, you know, if he hopefully misses my Demolisher. If my demolisher doesn't kill him. Mortal strike on the demolisher. It's okay. We can we can go with the plan now of I must dealing two damage. <clears throat> They'll never know what Keeper of the Grove is a centaur. Is that really not a beast? In any case, we'll go with the 5 5. We've got our big taunts, so we're pretty sure our big taunts are in hand and coming up on curve. So we're very sure that this game's gonna last at least a little bit longer. Unless he has like two or three. Um, Executes, but that's pretty unlikely. <sighs> Swipe is a good card to have, too. Um, five health. He can take out. Um, Sunwalker's a good play here. I'm gonna save the ooze for a better weapon than that. 
he's very likely to have a better weapon than that. Just if he has if that's his only weapon in the deck, an Arathi Weaponsmith weapon. What's it called? Battle axe. Yeah, that's even a, a one mana weapon. For weapons that have mana costs. He doesn't have a good way to pop the divine shield, I don't think. Interesting, he just leaves it at that. Hmm. The ooze is not a beast. So I think I should kill the Yeti and then use hero power to finish it off, or use swipe on the cobra. If I use Swipe, then I can only play Goblin Sapper. Decisions, decisions. Time waits for no one. I think it's worth Justice it. Shall Say thank you then. I got you. Iron Bark Protector is pretty good against Gurubashi Berserker. Okay, good. We are definitely going to kill that guy before he gains a bunch of attack. Um, and we're gonna follow that up with popping the divine shield. Then we might as well kill off the Scarlet Crusader. We have seven mana left, so we will play a Yeti and an M Master. <laughs> Bouncing Blade won't do very much now. Now that we've got two one health minions. If he happens to have Bouncing Blade, that is. I'm feeling good about our chances here. We're, I think, ahead in card advantage and board advantage. Um. Yeah, I think we're in really good shape. I might even heal up my Iron Bright Protector with that guy. Yeah, that's worth doing. For sure. Alright, my, my remaining guys will go like that. Ever, whenever your opponent casts a spell, gain two attack. Thankfully, I don't have hardly any spells. I already used swipe. I don't remember putting any other spells in the deck. I 
think we've got our second win here, guys. We've got a huge board. Even... Alright, so the, the thing... The card that would be most beneficial for him, which he would have immediately played, um, if he had it, would be Brawl. If he gets super lucky with Brawl, his 3-5 survives, and Don't all my dudes die. With he doesn't have it. And even if he did have it, we still have Ancient of War, Dark Ancient of War, really the thing. We still have a lot of big minions to play. Alright, so he managed to take out that. Alright, do we have lethal? 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12. Yes, we do. The wolf. Okay. Alright, we got our second win. And level 29. Cleared the quest, level it up. Feels pretty good. Because we're likely to end this arena run at 2 and 3, I'm going to keep on going. I've only got time for one or two more matches before I need to end the stream, but we'll see if we can finish the arena run in one stream this time. That'd be a nice thing to do. Malfurion versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! I must protect the wild. Alright. This time we're keeping the Imp Master. Because we know... We are unlikely to draw all of our two drops. So we might need to coin out the Ump Master on turn two. Alright, let's get that zebra skin for good luck again. It worked last time. Superstitions are fun. They may not be realistic, but they are fun. So many possibilities. We do not have a turn one play. We have a coin turn two. And now I'm wondering if we should even do that. Yeah, we should do that. Micro Machine. I think Micro Machine is really good. The light compels If you play him from behind, sure, he's just like a 2-2. Two -two. But if you play him from ahead, then like, he's ridiculously good. I don't want to use Naturalize this early. should attack. stupid! <laughs> take lots of face damage from this micro machine before we can kill it. Um... Alright, 
We may have stabilized. Took a lot of damage from that micro machine, but we may have stabilized. The frost wolves stand ready. Playing a bear frost wor wolf warlord. Interesting. Well, likewise, I'm gonna play a bear druid of the Stabilized here. We've got Sunwalker, Ironbark Protector coming up. No silence for anything super scary, like maybe that. Maybe like that. Or we could just Starfire it. Um. Okay, actually, no, we don't need to silence it. We can do four, five, six, seven. And we can get micro ma micro machine developing. Right. I must see it. Deal two damage. Yeah. Yeah, that seemed pretty good. We still have board control. Oh. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. So we can deal with it. For the wild, heal nature. Snakes. It has oh. to be snakes. snakes. It has to be snakes. It's too bad that that seemed to be like the best option. And drawing my beasts for my druids of the fang, unfortunately. I wonder. <laughs> the stand ready. Oh, there's a beast too. Um, you know, I think this is actually pretty good. Playing Sunwalker. Oh, you know what? I should play Star. Oh, this is still pretty good. Giving them plus one, plus one. He has to be able to pop the Divine Shield in order to... Okay. It's fine, it's fine. He's using Siphon Soul on that. Which means he's not going to be able to use it on Iron Bark Protector. But we don't even need to put up Iron Bark Protector yet. Strike. Interesting sounds. Magic detected. Magic detected. You did that out of order. Uh oh, ickiness. Okay. How do I do this? I can plus one, plus one to have a six one at the end of it. Hmm. Seems pretty good. We must cleanse the sun well. Drink with me, friend. And now I give plus one plus one to the other guy. The other guy. We must cleanse the sun well. For the wild. I got you. Now kill off that. Thing. He'd have to be really aggressive to go for the face instead of killing my 6-1 with that leopard. Alright, good. So he doesn't think he can rush me down from 10. 
He's making a smart choice. He might be afraid of something like force of nature. Out of order. He's recombobulating his cog master. What is Shadow Bomber deal three damage to each hero? Okay. So I think I should Iron Bark Protector. That may be a little bit risky, but I'll do it. My two one health minions are getting traded. In case he gets moral coil. Yeah, that's good. Your magic shall not save Ooh, spell is pretty good. But it still doesn't kill it. Is it worth using naturalize? I think so. I got those. Alright, now we're the ones threatening lethal. We gave him two extra cards. But I I just, you know, I have a strong feeling that those two extra cards are not gonna make a difference. Won this one. We might have a three and. Oh, that was probably the worst. Um, yeah, looks like we're three and two after this. One more. Okay. We'll play one more game. We just have to play one minion that costs two or less in this game. Even if we lose this game, I'm not going to be mad as long as we get to play a two cost minion. A one or a two cost minion. Okay. Not very good with Druid. But we've been we've been winning a couple here. Three and two. We've got a winning record. We're up against XYZ. You asked for it. Playing the mage. The wild. These are not good cards to start with. Give me a two drop. We're not getting our two drops. At least we have swipe, though. Oh. Wrath isn't bad. It'll keep us in the game. Pointing out a two. Oh no! That's a good one too. It stops our hero power. I think I might actually need to wrath it for three. If he, if he coined that out, he doesn't necessarily have another two drop. He might have just wanted to develop that so that he could hero power this turn. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so now we can get out it. Oh, this is excellent. We've got a 3 drop with a high amount of health. And we've got a Dark Iron Dwarf to allow it to um, Give me a quest. trade well next turn. Vehicle 
We even got a, a 5 drop. We've got options on turn 5. We could Nightblade, or we could swipe Argent Squire. This is the first time where I've felt like we've been in a great position on turn 4. <laughs> to do. To do. And he's like struggling with his six cards. <laughs> Even naturalize would be good here, I think. Ooh, okay. We're gonna play Micro Machine. Hero Power. Argent Squire. It's hilarious that at the start of his turn, my Goblin Sapper looks really scary with six attack. But he's always gonna play a card on his turn. Bring my Sapper down to two attack. Okay. Nightblade, I think, is the is the call here. Um I'm gonna trade this guy. Play the Nightblade, and then attack the face with these guys. Because now I have two four attack minions uh, that would trade well into his four health minion. Nice. He must have a flame strike if he wanted to trade that way. Right. No stupid. Drag no stupid. I'm not going to swipe. Mind if I this roll one's mine. I fight. <laughs> Do that. Flame strike. I thought he might be set up for that when he ignored my 4 4 in favor of the micro machine. That's okay. We can deal with it. Keeper of the Grove, welcome to the team. I must safeguard the map. Might as well give it stealth. <laughs> Considered stealthing the Argent Squire, but I thought this might be better. The Frost Wolves stand ready. So now we're. No, I can't even swipe it. So it's not even pushing. For the wild. Mage down to some decently low health. We don't have much burst though. Leaving, leaving the demolisher alive, I see. Interesting. Interesting choice. Sludge Bunch. She's got her own demolisher. 
If she's going to use her hero power, she should use it on the, on the Demolisher. Swipe. Stand a good chance of winning even this game. We could get a four win arena here. What's that? Goblin Auto Barber. Don't bring a new weapon plus one attack. I even play cult master here. Sure, I need cards, but uh, I can just play a giant taunt and go for the face. It's only difference in one card. Two demolishers. Sometimes I with spell damage. Interesting. Well, I think we should go for the face. We're one short of lethal. I think I'm also going to play Naturalize on that guy. I realize giving the mage cards in this situation is probably a bad idea. But I think having that extra buff and the extra minion there is worse. It's really only a taunt. Two cards. In case she is curious. Alright. Well. She cleared out all of our daily quests. Keep going. This will be the last one for the stream tonight. Hopefully it's a loss so that we can uh, record the entire arena run in one go. Or maybe this deck is going all the way to 12 wins. There's a chance. It can go all the way to 12 wins. Acid Swampoos. You are a two drop and you are welcome in my opening hand. I need to look at this deck afterwards. Were there were there not as many two drops as I thought or something? Alright, let's shoot this laser. Right up there. Oh no. A little to the left. Alright. 
Uh, let's take our turn. We don't need to deal with the web spinner. Yeah, he didn't have a turn 2 play. So, we'll just deal with it now. Matter Bomber? No. We'll do Pilot of Treader. We're gonna take a bit of damage here. Alright, we got it. We launched the rocket. Best to attack here. What? Maybe we just throw out the matter bomber and see what we hit. Let's hope, let's actually naturalize the big guy. And the uh, Matter Bomber should be able to take out that 6 2. No problem. No problem. I had the utmost confidence in Matter Bomber. And now we have a Whirling Zapomatic. Sunwalker, our Starfire, our Swipe. I think that was a decent call. We don't have any healing, so we're gonna have to establish a poor presence real fast. And the best way to do that on this turn is to play. That's not too good. Can't start. Kill off one of the dudes. If he has kill cans, then we're in big trouble. If that's a freezing trap, even we're in big trouble. See if it's a freezing trap. It is. No, it's a snake trap. It's good for us, right? So now we can swipe. Silence. Oh, we've got. 
gotta use swipe, right? I should have just attacked my ex there. Probably. And I must safeguard the lead. We'll deal two damage rather than silence again. He needs four damage in hand, he doesn't have it. Give a minion taunt. That's what I like to see. Um. Feel nature's wrath. It's explosive. That's all right. We have Sunwalker. Is my shield. And micro machine. I'm not gonna give another minion taunt. Not yet. Oh, I should have. If he, whoops. If he has silence, Embrace the light. we're in trouble. Oh boy, he's hero powering. That's our weakness right now. Oh, freeze is bad too. I think he could just hero power and not even play any cards, and he would win. <sighs> okay. Feel nature's wrath. Freezing. We can deal with that. We have to. Have to use our hero power. Unless we're gonna just start For the wild. getting destroyed. Here I come. Now, what do we do with the remaining mana? I am not a morning person. Snakes. It has to if he hits. Um, oh, what's it called? A silence. He could have used it last turn to win. Engaging TC-130 into dislocator. That was dangerous. Yikes. He almost definitely has this, but technically we are still in it. Technically, we are still in it. I don't like our chances, though. If he hero powers every turn, I hero power every turn. He knocks us down to two this turn, we go up to three, he gets us down to one next turn, we go up to two. So we have to hero power this turn, and then we have to be able to win on the next turn, so we have to threaten lethal. How do we do it? How do we do it? We have to hear about our so we have 8 mana to deal with. Uh, to work with, I mean. Um, and we have to get him down to a pretty low amount of health. Possible. 
taking a 5 5 as the biggest one can do. So next turn we'll be able to do 10, 12, 15 damage. Oh gosh, Cobra shot. Well, that was a fine one to go out on. We at least get to end the stream with the end of the arena run. And we even had a winning record for once, right, on a class that I'm not even very good with. So that's pretty darn good. Let's check out our rewards. 20 dust, a pack, and 60 gold. Epic. And a rare. The Cog Hammer. For Paladin. Felon's Chosen. The Illuminator. Oh, maybe we could make a, a, a secret deck with that. An Antique Healbot is pretty good. Force Tank Max is pretty good, too. Oh, I like that bet. Lots of good cards. Well, thank you guys very much for tuning into the stream. Hope you guys had a blast watching. I had a blast playing. And, um, yeah, every, you know, as always, thank you for watching and have a good night.